The HANA HI2004 can measure dissolved oxygen in a wide variety of samples. This dedicated dissolved oxygen meter has a large LCD display for easy reading and has a capacitive touch feature with built-in buttons, preventing clogs in sticking of traditional buttons. To set up the dissolved oxygen probe, first remove the cardboard shipping tube. Take a dissolved oxygen membrane and O-ring and rinse the membrane with some dissolved oxygen electrolyte. Next, position an O-ring at the bottom of the threading for the membrane cap. Once the O-ring is in place, we can start filling the membrane cap with electrolyte. It's important to fill the cap about three quarters with electrolyte. Tap on the side of the cap to make sure that any air bubbles rise to the surface. Once there are no air bubbles, screw the cap onto the probe. Some electrolyte will spill out. This is normal. Then, rinse the probe after filling. The probe is now fully assembled. Inspect the bottom of the probe for air bubbles. If there aren't any, simply connect the probe to the meter and turn it on. Ensure that the probe is fully inserted into the 3.5 millimeter connector. Once connected, the meter will automatically recognize the probe and enter dissolved oxygen measuring mode. Edge uses a polarographic dissolved oxygen sensor, so we recommend waiting 10 minutes for the sensor to stabilize. After 10 minutes, you can begin calibration and measurement. Edge meters are capable of calibrating at up to two points, 100% and 0%. The 100% point uses water-saturated air. The 0% point uses zero oxygen solution. We'll demonstrate both methods with a two-point calibration. To calibrate at 100%, prepare a beaker filled with water. Press Cal and hold the probe just over the beaker with water. Make sure you don't submerge the probe. Once the reading is stable, press Confirm to accept the calibration point. Edge is now calibrated to one point. If desired, press Cal to exit. Otherwise, we can proceed to the next calibration point. To calibrate at 0%, the zero oxygen solution must be prepared. To do this, simply mix the two supply components. The solution will be valid for one month. For calibration at a second point, simply submerge the probe in about 60 milliliters of zero oxygen solution. Be sure to use a magnetic stirrer for best results. Once the reading is stable, press confirm to accept the calibration point. The meter automatically saves the second point and returns to measurement mode. Measurements are easy once the probe and calibration are complete. Simply submerge the probe into the sample while stirring gently until the reading is stable. Again, a magnetic stirrer works best for this. We hope you have enjoyed this video. For more information, be sure to contact us or visit hannahins.com.